This is going to be a super no-nonsense, no-fluff tutorial on how to buy and sell NFTs. We're gonna go through and show you on the screen and even buy an NFT on the screen so that you can see how all of this works. But I would like to add that you've got to stay till the end because at the end we'll talk about something even more important and that's how to not lose money on NFTs. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've seen YouTube videos or somebody has showed you that they've made crazy money on NFTs. Maybe you've seen pictures of crypto punks or bored apes and you've seen these wild amounts of money that people have Made, but it is really important to warn you that a vast majority of people getting into NFTs right now are probably losing money and not making money. So if you stay till the end, we'll go over that at the end, the pitfalls to avoid and how to identify the small number of NFT projects that are actually going to live and last for a long time and 10x or 100x in value. Otherwise you risk getting stuck with a bunch of fairly useless NFTs like this jumping thing that I purchased a few months ago that are worth quite a bit less now than you purchase them for and there's really almost no way to even get rid of them. Now the first step it depends on how new you are to the crypto world. If you don't already have a MetaMask browser wallet and you don't already have Ethereum that's owned by you, you'll need to start at the very very beginning. If not, you can cut ahead a few minutes and it'll take you right to where we actually start talking about how to buy them. But first we are going to need access to Ethereum and so to get that access we're going to use a company called Coinbase. So you're going to go to coinbase.com and set up an account. Now once you're on Coinbase Coinbase.com and you set up an account, you're going to see something like this. What we need to buy is called Ethereum. Okay, and Ethereum is kind of where most NFTs are being bought and sold right now. That's a vast majority of them are being bought and sold on the uh, Ethereum blockchain. So we need Ethereum in order to interact or buy and sell things on that blockchain. Okay, so what you're going to do is once you set up a Coinbase account, there's a link down below for you to do that. Then you'll go and you'll need to buy Ethereum. And to buy Ethereum, it's very, very easy. When you're on your main Coinbase dashboard, we'll click on Ethereum right here and you can see there's a bunch of different options that we can use to buy or sell Ethereum. So let's say we decide to buy $50 worth of Ethereum. Now let's buy $100 worth for this tutorial. So we buy $100 worth of Ethereum. You'll have to connect your bank account when you're getting it set up uh, or you can connect your PayPal. In my case, I like to use PayPal. So we'll click preview buy and then we'll click buy. Now our account will have in my case, you know, about $200 worth of Ethereum that we can use to buy and sell NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain. Now the next thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to set up what's called a MetaMask browser wallet. And what this is, is Coinbase and most of these exchanges can't interact directly with the Ethereum blockchain, which means you can't buy NFTs using Coinbase. So what we're going to have to do is take the Ethereum that we just purchased, we're gonna to need to move it into a MetaMask browser wallet, which is very easy to do. And then that MetaMask browser wallet that we're gonna download is actually going to be what we use to interact with the Ethereum blockchain and buy and sell these NFTs. So to do that, all you gotta do is click the link down below and that will take you to the MetaMask wallet. You'll end up on a page just like this and we'll click download now. Now for me and, and most people, I think it works best in Chrome and it's just a simple Chrome extension. It's a Chrome browser wallet. So we're gonna add to Chrome right here and we're gonna click add extension and then you're gonna see it show up right here in your Chrome browser. Okay, so we'll click get started and it's gonna see if you already own a MetaMask wallet, which in our case, we probably won't. So we'll create a new wallet. We'll click I agree and you'll set a password right here. Now it's gonna have you watch a little video and then it's actually going to give you a recovery phrase, okay? So if we click this video right here, uh, we're gonna click next and what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you 16 secret words. You're gonna wanna write these words down because if you ever lose access to your computer or your MetaMask browser wallet, you're going to want to be able to retrieve it. And the way you're gonna do that is with these 16 words. So write down the 16 words that it gives you, very, very, very important to do, and then you'll be able to, from there, you know, have access if you ever lose your information. Okay, now it'll take you to a page that looks like this, typically you're gonna actually go up here and click to interact with your MetaMask wallet. But you can see right here, this wallet currently doesn't have any Ethereum in it. So what we need to do is we need to get our address, okay, the address of this wallet where we want to send our Ethereum, which is done by clicking right here. And now we're gonna go to Coinbase and we're gonna send that Ethereum that we bought over to this address right here. So you can see in, in Coinbase, we'll go click on Ethereum and there's a send and receive option. We will send all $100 of Ethereum that we just got and it's gonna say, where do you want to send it? And address is one of those options. So we'll paste it in there and we don't have to add a note or anything. We just click continue and note that there will be some form of fee for us to be able to send this Ethereum and we'll click send now. All right, after typically just a few minutes, you'll find that Ethereum lands inside your MetaMask wallet. So right here on the main MetaMask page, I can see $101 worth of Ethereum or right here, I can see I've got $100 worth of Ethereum, okay? 
So you can see right here, Ethereum $100 worth. So now we've got the money we need to interact with the Ethereum blockchain where NFTs are. I know this probably feels complicated at this point. Once you've got money sitting in MetaMask, it becomes much, much easier to easily interact. This is just kind of the initial steps we need to get there. Now, the next thing we need to do is go to the marketplace where a vast majority of NFTs are currently being sold and that's OpenSea. Okay, so we're gonna go to the link down below. Once again, that's a safer link and it's gonna take you to OpenSea.io. And you can see right here, we can start exploring the myriad of different NFTs that are available. Now again, stay till the end and we'll talk about how to find the ones that are bad or good because you can see right here, there's a, there's a ton of different NFTs that we can buy or sell right here for a variety of prices. Now, since we're not really actually trying to buy any specific NFT, we're gonna rank it from low to high and we're just gonna buy some cheap NFT. All right, and you can see right here, I've done a little bit of sorting and stuff. I'm gonna buy this NFT of this picture of, uh, I don't know, some volcano somewhere. And you can see as we scroll down a little bit, it looks like it has sold before, um, but all we've got to do is click buy now. Okay, and what it's going to do is it's going to tell us all this stuff. Um, we'll talk about it in a minute. We're going to click that we're good to buy and then we're going to click check out. All right, and you're gonna note that there is gas fees. Now these fees can sometimes be five bucks. I think it was five bucks when I just sent over the Ethereum actually. Currently the fees, okay, the fees to interact with the Ethereum blockchain where this is all happening are, it looks like about $60, which is a medium amount for that blockchain. I see them go up, go up into the hundreds of dollars. So that's something important to note. You'll be spending in the beginning a lot more on fees than you will anything else. And, and that's where a lot of users that are new lose a lot of their money is these buying and selling fees that are getting charged just to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. Hopefully these fees go down over time. No one really knows what's gonna happen. Now I'll be honest, I'm not willing to spend $75 in fees just for a YouTube video where I buy a terrible picture <laughs> for you guys. So you'll, all you'll do is you'll click check out if you're willing to accept those fees that are whatever they currently are. Like I said, they can be all over the place. Then what you're gonna do is your MetaMask wallet will already be connected to OpenSea. So you'll be able to go and click this button right here and you'll be able to look at your profile and if the contract goes through, you'll see right here, uh, the NFT that you just purchased will show up and you can click into it like this. And you can see a little bit of information about the NFT. For example, you can see if it sold or if it didn't sell and stuff like that. Now, what most people do, I think, is they buy the NFT, they click sell, and then they'll actually you know, set it for a much higher price, let's say 0.6 ETH, and you can click on point listing and then just leave it up there and hope that it sells for a much higher price than you purchased it for over time. That's typically what I do. When I buy an NFT, that's typically what most people do. Set it for the, you know, you can set it for 10 ETH if you want and just kind of see if you get lucky or not. Uh, but that's typically what, what we're doing here and that's our account right here. It's, it's not an email-based account. It actually is based on your MetaMask browser wallet, okay? So you can see I can look at my profile, I can explore all kinds of my own stuff here, and that's how OpenSea works. Now, let's talk about something really important. Now let's talk about what I promised, and that's what you're gonna be looking for. I showed you already, there's a ton of random NFTs, there's millions of them. Some of them are just pictures that random people have taken. They've got no real value, and there's nobody valuing them at anything higher than you know one cent, and so you'll never be able to sell it. So here's the four things you're gonna wanna look for to make sure you don't lose money. The first thing you're gonna wanna look at is liquidity. Okay, so if you go look, which means when you go to one of these NFTs right here, you can look down and you can actually see the selling history, okay? And I can see right here, the selling history right here. It was minted 13 days ago. Transferred, sold, transferred, sold, transferred, sold, transferred. And then 10 days ago, it wasn't getting sold again. So you'll wanna go look at the selling history and say, is it liquid? Meaning are people buying and selling this or has it just had maybe one sell or two sells in its entire existence? The more times it's bought and sold, the more liquid it is and the easier it is to get out of it. You'll also wanna go and click at the main collection, okay? So this main collection is called CyberKongs and you'll wanna go look at how, uh, how much it's actually currently moving, okay? It looks like it's got a lot of volume traded, about 17 ETH, which is 35, $40,000 depending on when you're watching this video. And we can go down here and look at a few more and see that they're they're not super liquid, okay? They've had a few sales, but I wouldn't do, I wouldn't classify them as hyped up and currently very liquid, meaning you can get rid of it very easily if you need to. So you're gonna want something that's just got a lot of buys and sells, okay? Meaning it's very, very liquid and easy to get rid of. The next thing you're gonna want is a rising price, okay? So when we click into this one right here and we scroll down, you can see that it was minted three months ago. Then they sold it for 0.24 ETH and then 0.49 ETH and then one ETH and then two ETH. 
that's good. Okay, the price is going up, not down. So you want something that each time it's being sold, they're selling it for a higher price than they bought it for. Rising price is very good. And you want proof of that price action when you buy the NFT. So after rising price, we want to look at how close the NFT that we're looking at is to the floor. So when I click into this main collection here, right, the CyberCons collection says the floor price is about 7.04, uh, meaning that's the cheapest that if you currently wanted to just buy it right now, that's the cheapest price you could get it at is that floor price right there. And so we're going to look and say, okay, we want to buy something as close as we can to the floor price because if we need to get out, okay, if we need to get out quick and you've got something that's three or four times the price of the cheapest one in this collection, you're really going to struggle to sell it. But if you've got the cheapest one or the, one of the top few cheap members of that collection, it's going to be much easier to sell and you can minimize your losses if the market starts to tank or the hype around that particular NFT starts to die. Okay, and the last thing we want to look at is community. What I mean by community is, is, is this being talked about? Is there is there a bunch of people that are actively promoting this and loving this and stuff like that? Now, there's a couple ways you can find the community. Typically, I'll just Google it and I'll find a website. And you can see this is the CyberKongs website. And if we go to CyberKongs and I scroll to the bottom right here, here is their Discord, which is typically where the NFT communities exist, and uh, Twitter and a couple other communities that you can join. So you want a strong community where it's very actively growing and people are very active in the community because that tells you once again that there's some hype around this NFT. You'll hopefully be able to sell it for more shortly down the road. Okay, now you know how to buy NFTs. Now you know how to pick good NFTs. And now you found a channel where we don't fluff and hype and tell everyone that Bitcoin's going to a million dollars. We just kind of go over things. So if that appeals to you, go ahead and click subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.